what happens with conduction and convection. Convection is what happens in our atmosphere. Started my seventh year here at Jenks, and the people I've met and I've worked with, and they're extraordinary people, extraordinary teachers. If they consider me the teacher of the year, it's just, it just boggles my mind. <laughs> it really does, and I'm very thankful for it. I'm very humbled by it. And what causes the air to move around in the atmosphere, guys? The sun's energy. The sun's energy, I like it. So let's write that down. That is a main misconception, that these kids are not as bright as general education kids. And that is not the case. These kids just have a learning difference. You know, that's what we do in here. We try to find what works for that learning difference, um, whatever it takes. She is a molecule, all right? Here's one of our atoms or molecules within this substance. She is going to start giving more energy. You're going to start moving around. Like I tell my kids, you know, when son, as soon as you're in my classroom, as soon as you're with me, you are my family. They may not remember a darn thing that they learned. I just want them to know that I loved them and I cared for them and that kindness is a real thing, and I hope that they will emulate some of that kindness in their life. So in this, there are fewer molecules within a certain amount of space. I've taught at other districts, I've in three or four other districts in my, my life, and this is the best district that I've ever worked with, and I don't want to go anywhere else, so I, I hope they keep me until I retire. <laughs>